So, today's problem is what? Who said there's a problem? Well, I'm away for a couple of days in business, and you suddenly need me back. Natural conclusion to jump to. I'd uh, set up meetings this afternoon about the masquerade ball, but I'm in the hospital all day with Sarah, so... You didn't think to reschedule? I'm happy for you to fill my shoes. I've emailed you the details. There's nothing else you wish to discuss with me? Specifically? Specifically, the ultimatum you were given. You have my word, Graham. By the end of the day, you'll have your answer. feel a thing, but you will. You'll feel everything. <laughs> hey, you know what, big man? I'm gonna enjoy every second. I thought you'd be at the hospital all day. What the hell happened? Sorry. Your head? I'm not sure today went quite how you envisaged. What? Your guests for the meeting didn't arrive. But a past acquaintance did. Connor, ring any bells? Connor. You're aware of his work. Our acid-throwing friend Simon dealt drugs for him. Ross Barton's a big fan, apparently. And he did that to you? Why? Why, why was he here? We have history. What, did you call the police? That would have got very complicated. I don't believe this. No, I find that strange. Since it was you who sent him. He's ridiculous. Really? He must have put you over there pretty hard if you think I had anything to do with this. Allow me to paint a little picture. How many times do I need to... I gave you an ultimatum about the prenup. Either you tell Debbie or I tell Debbie. We threatened to cut you off, so you... You tried to get rid of me. Do you really think that I sent him here to hurt you? No. I think you sent him to kill me. No, you are way off. That is crazy. There was no meeting. I got the date wrong! What intelligence I have, please don't insult it. I am telling you the truth. You think you're a good liar, Joe, and to some people you probably are, but to me you will always be that little boy denying he's been at the biscuit tin while his hands are covered in sugar. Oh, you do paint wonderful pictures. Only now... Your hands are covered in something else. You get attacked by a drug-dealing germ. Someone that you've got history with and somehow I'm responsible? How did you come up with that? I didn't come up with anything. Connor told me. He told me everything. You're really going to take his word over mine? You know what he is. And I know what you are, too. I don't even know why we're still doing this. If you don't believe me, then you may as well go. I'm afraid you don't hold those cards anymore. So where is he now, huh? He just ran away after filling your head with rubbish? He won't be running anywhere, ever again. Let's just say that ship has sailed. You did what needed doing, cleaning up the mess, 
And you've been making quite a lot of mess recently. But I... Stop lying to me! Just, um... You don't get to lie yourself out of this one. It was me or you. That's a start. I'm serious. That's what he said. He was going to kill me. Or you. What was I supposed to do? You should have come to me. What's the other man throwing his ultimatums around? The man had already put a noose around my neck. You put it there yourself. I tried to stop him. By the time I realized what I'd done, I called him. I left a message. I know. I am so sorry. You have no idea how sorry I am. I'm sorry too. So what now? You should probably go back to the hospital where you're supposed to be. I mean, between you and me. Can we just go back to the way things were? What's done is done. Thank you.